today is a good day. We've got some beer, we've got a G-Dog, and we've got Oathmark. Catch you after this. See you. Okay, we're just gonna start looking at the armies and we're gonna look at the undead first. Graham, what have we got on the table? We'll start, they send here. All right, um, so you've got a full regiment of skeleton archers uh, and they've got a level two lich priest up in there. Uh, this is a chariot, just a, a revenant chariot. Um, got a full regiment of skeleton spears and they've got a champion and he's got a magic sword. Um, at the back here, there's a unit of Revenants. Uh, they've got a Revenant champion who has some boots that make the unit nimble. Uh, another full regiment of Spears. A full regiment of Revenant Line Breakers. Another level two Lich Priest. Uh, my Prince on his chariot. And some Ghouls rounding it off. Nice. Nice looking army as well there, mate. Good stuff. So for myself, I'm bringing the orcs and goblins. Uh, starting at the front here then, we have got General Gothwick, and then he has a uh, level three wizard with him. We've got um, goblin spearmen with champion. Another unit of goblin spearmen with champion. We've then got a 15 man unit of gob uh, orcs, spearmen, and he's also a champion. And we've got a 10 man, he shouldn't be there. A 10 man unit of orc soldiers, or yeah, soldiers, and he's a champion in there as well. We've got some goblin archers, orc line breakers with champion. Uh, we've got some dodo riders, which are basically wolf riders. We've got a bolt thrower, or a light catapult. And then we've got some sail swords over here. We've got some human line breakers. And that is the orc army, orc and goblin army. Brilliant, right. We'll catch you at turn one. Okay, so we've just set up for turn one. Um, just a quick run around the board. We're just playing a pickup game, so there's no uh, no objectives in this. It's just a fight to the death. Um, we've got some. These are it's a forest. These trees are just trees, so you can walk through them. We've got impassable terrain there. We've got. We're going to count this as impassable terrain just to stop any faffing right around that. Uh, woods, woods. Uh, so and then. That's the Goblin and Orc set up. And then we've got over there, the Undead. Uh, just a little shout out to Scruffy Crow for the uh, terrain there. Cheers, mate. Cheers, James. <laughs> right, catch you at the end of turn one. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're at the end of turn one. Much like most turns, it's just a lot of movement. Uh, the uh, dodos there are coming up around the flank. Uh, the these guys here sort of shimmied over, didn't they? Sort of. The, ghoul, a... the ghouls ran away because they're scared of the dodos. <laughs> yeah. uh, but yeah, after that bit of, bit of movement, these guys lost a unit. Oh, sorry, lost a guy, but then got regenerated by the wizard behind them. Um, the bolt thrower here lost the guy to the wizard at the back there, um, but also. Uh, the archers here shot a this guy here who's laying there. He's dead. So I think it killed someone in the first turn. So two people died in the first turn. But yeah, just a lot of manoeuvring, getting ready, pose, getting into position for a bit of a fight. So we'll see you at the end of turn two. Catch you in a bit. All right, here we go. Right, so we are end of turn two. And the G Dog is going to go through the turn because I can't remember what happened. Yeah, all quite right. a lot happened. Okay, guys, we're going to go roughly chronologically. So, first of all, the Revenant uh, chariot there, 
I sent it straight into these goblins. Um, they've got spears, so they're not the best target for a cavalry charge, but it killed a couple of them and sort of pushed them back a bit. Uh, the orcs couldn't really get an angle to charge the chariot, but they sort of manoeuvred, so they will have next turn. Then, really, it came over here, there's been an absolute bloodbath over here. It's hard to remember what order it all happened in. Um, I think there was a there was a, a regiment of goblin spears which are no longer there. They're, They're not gone. there anymore. Yeah. Um, they got charged by the Revenant Linebreakers, who killed a few of them and lost a few guys in return. Yeah. Uh, then these skeletons hit them in the flank. They. Yep, that's right, they that's did, right. yep. Uh, and they killed a few more, and they lost a few, but they actually, they stood firm at that, they didn't They didn't run off. Um, yep, that didn't kill the goblins. It didn't. Then these, are these orcs or goblins? What these are, are these? orcs. These yeah, orcs. Yeah. So these orcs then hit these skeletons and really awesome. messed them up. They absolutely... Yeah, we hit them, them in around. the side, didn't we? Uh, so that killed a lot of the skeletons, and it sent them back six inches. Uh, the revenants who were hiding in the trees then hit the orcs. Which these guys, which was actually a bit sort of indecisive. I think they killed about was, the uh, same. Uh, no, it was a draw. Yeah, so they killed about equal numbers of guys. Mm -hmm. uh, hence these dead revenants here and these dead orcs here. Yep. They're disordered though, and they're not because they're undead, so they don't. They don't worry about it. They don't yeah. care. Uh, these guys have just manoeuvred in at the side. Um, Some line breakers just come through. Yeah. Yeah. And then finally, the Revenant Prince finished off the uh, the, the goblins, goblins which were spears, sitting which were here, there. which are no longer there. Yeah, so they've finally gone. Um, but yeah, this is this is how it sounded up. I mean, these guys are well out of position, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I think if I'm gonna put a, a win on that turn, I think the undead are. Well, obviously they've killed a unit, so that's going to help them. So. They, yeah. They've definitely got the advantage. And over here, I don't know, the ghouls and the dodo riders are just kind of staring each other out. Yeah, the, the, the dodos do didn't fancy it. They, yeah, yeah, they failed their turn, didn't they? Yeah. So, yeah, so that's that's the end of turn two. So we've still got plenty of game to play. And we'll see you at the end of turn three. Catch you in a sec. Okay, guys, so we're now at the end of turn three and the G-Dog is going to just give you a quick rundown as to what's happened in I'll this go, turn. I'll go left to right. So yep. over here, these guys just sort of jostled around a little bit, but something might finally happen here next yep. turn. Um, likewise here, these guys didn't want to move. Um, these chaps killed my chariot, so there was a chariot there. The chariot's gone then. It's gone. Um, these guys have just moved a little bit. The skeleton spears also moved a little bit. Um, and then over here, uh, the orcs got killed by the revenants. Yeah, so there was a uh, group of spears, weren't there? There's a yeah. unit of spearmen, uh, or spear orcs. The revenant line breakers just moved up and sort of swung around a little bit. Yep. The skeleton spears also swung around and moved up. These guys just sort of jostled forward a touch, but they're kind of stuck in the woods. Well, they had, no, they actually did. They fought these guys, didn't they? They did, yeah. And did nothing. I didn't and then... achieve a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but these these heroes over here, they killed my prince on chariot. So yeah, the prince is no more. And I think that rounds that that uh, round up quite quickly and perfectly. So yeah, so end of turn three. I still think the undead have the upper hand, but. It's definitely still all to play for, actually. There's a few units still on the table. Um, yeah, it's good game. Good game. So I will, we, will, we, will, we will see you all at the end of turn four. Catch in a bit. Right, so uh, end of turn four. And it's, well, it's been quite messy. Uh, the G-Dog is going to just quickly run us through what's happened. Yeah, I'll do my best. Um... So these guys fought quite sort of inconclusively, really. It was a draw, um, wasn't it? A bit of a yeah. draw, yeah, yeah. They mashed each other up. Uh, the ghouls got the charge, I think. If the dodos had got the charge, it would have been a different story. Yeah, but the ghouls so. went in first. Um, again, these guys had a fight. I think the orcs had the upper hand. Yeah, the orcs killed 
Well, they killed that mount, that number there. Yeah. Uh, so 57. But the Skellies stood yeah. um, and killed a few orcs in return, so I think they did their job, really. Um, these, yeah, these guys tried to shoot the orcs. I don't. I think I killed one, and um, and the wizard brought back a skeleton. Yeah. Uh, over here. So this is, of, this is the main fight, this isn't is the it? Main fight. So there's a bit of sort of shoving around, really. But I think the skeletons fought the human line breakers um, and took a mauling, but did win and sort of pushed back the human line yeah, breakers. Yeah, which is. That's bad actually because they, now they've got to get through those woods again. And killed quite a few of them too, so that's, yeah. that's all right. Uh, the. I can't even remember. I think the Revenants fought the Orcs that are over there now. Oh, yeah, these guys here. Them back. Yeah. Uh, and then the Spear Goblins fought Came the, into the side of these guys, these guys here. Guys. Yeah. And they had a bit of a fight and killed a few of each other. Yeah. And, and, that, and that's about it. it. That's, yeah. that's that. So that's the end of turn four. It's still very much anyone's game, which is really good. So we're getting into the late game now. And really, at the moment, I can't. we can't really determine a winner at all. So definitely going on for another couple of turns. So we'll see you at the end, end of turn five. Catch you in a sec. Right, so end of turn five. Um, this turn was really all about non-activations a little bit wasn't it um quite a few units didn't activate which has kind of stalled stalled things a little but a few things have died so from um right to left then these guys had a showdown and i believe it was a draw again it was a draw again it's a draw again because the ghouls keep getting the initiative so the ghouls keep jumping on the wolf riders yeah uh, yeah. yeah yeah so the wolf riders really need to go first over there but there's, there's other important fights going on um the line breakers here there was a, a unit of skeletons they're just there they they obviously killed enough of them for them to start moving away and then the wizard there finished them off as one of them left and he uh used one of his spells to kill them the guys at the back here failed to activate. I think that's the third time rolling fives. Yeah. Yeah, so not good for them at all. They've had a really bad game. They've had an awful, awful game. Um, the archers here, the, in contrary, these guys have done quite a nice game. They've been doing really well. They've whittled these guys down, actually. I think out of all my art units, it's the archers that have been killing these guys. Uh, so they killed a good sort of three or three or four a minute ago. Uh, the goblins are just they're disordered, but they're holding out. That's kind of what they need to do. Just sit there, take the punishment. These orcs have just maneuvered just back a little bit. This is it. They're revenants, they're aren't revenants. they? Are they they didn't find disordered. It. They're not disordered. Not disordered. They're sorry, they just didn't want to fight. They didn't move, so they didn't activate. These guys back here, I think they're sort of a little bit worried of the line breakers. The line breakers are kind of stuck in the woods at the moment and not really getting anywhere. And these guys just retreated back a little bit. Um, one last thing, the the well catapult. Oh, it also killed some that of the, killed, the spears. That's yeah. right, it killed some of the, the, the spears over there. So it's, again, it's still anyone's game. This part here, I think... I'm starting to wonder whether this part is a crucial part of the game. It's, it's been the most focused part of the game, hasn't it? Over here. It has. But now this is opened up through here. I wonder if that's going to cause problems for the, yeah. the undead. I think things have swung towards the orcs and goblins. Maybe, so maybe. Know, but it's yeah. still... It's still... It's still really tough to call. Um, I think it really depends on how, whether any of these... Undead units can can hold out, but anyway, that's the end of turn five. We're going to go into turn six, and what we'll do, we're just going to keep going until the, we feel the game's finished. We're not going to worry about whether a game should finish or not. We're just going to keep going, keep drinking, have fun. That's what it's all about. What a player! So, end of turn six, and the board is looking a lot um, quieter. Uh, a lot of things are starting to. Get killed now uh, again over here uh, it was a draw but the goblins this time they failed their 
um, act, uh, command role, so they're disordered. So now that gives these guys the advantage over here. The line breakers ended up not moving and just stayed where they were. Uh, the Goblin Archers, they shot these guys, I believe, didn't they? To bits. And there's only one left. They're actually doing really well. They're doing amazingly, yeah. Probably the unit of the match so far, considering yeah. their stats. Um, these guys... Killed your prince. Killed the... Yes, the, the general. They killed the general. Uh, the line breakers simply moved up, trying to get up closer. Then they were attacked by your spears, spears and Kill spears died. Uh, and that's pretty much that turn. So this little area here, it really felt like it was going to be a undead victory. I'm not saying that the goblins have won it yet, but it's looking a little bit less likely for the undead. They've got one guy there. They've got this unit here. Obviously got their wizard there, but have got the line breakers coming round. So that might clinch that area for me. Um, I need to get these guys moving. So I don't know, it's it's probably swung a little bit more towards the orcs and goblins. Would you would you agree? Yes, yeah, no, definitely. I think, I think, I think it's where it really it's swung to. I've, I've run out of units that can actually hurt you. Right, so honest. it's turn seven. Yeah. Turn seven may be the last turn. It all depends on what happens. I think it depends on what happens here. If if the undead end up getting a chance to... If they kill a couple of these units here, it may keep the game going. But I think if this area completely dies, I wouldn't be surprised if Graham concedes. So, Yeah. That's, so that's where we are. Right, cool. So we'll see you at the end of turn seven. I believe it's turn seven? Yeah. Yeah, turn seven. Okay, so that is the end of turn seven and is the end of the game. Um, in the end, it is a victory for the orcs and goblins, but by the skin of their teeth, it was really closely fought. Probably the, one of the closest games I've ever played, actually, um, because I think either of us could have won going up to about turn six. I think almost certainly by turn six, it was still anyone's game. So that was fantastic. Um, it really was this area here that that decided the game. So yeah, Graham, do you wanna have a little chat about what happened and a little synopsis of the game? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I think overall it was quite sort of inconsequential over the, here. Definitely, this was yeah. kind of nothing. <laughs> It was happening, but it didn't really affect the game whatsoever. No. Considering the, they were bouncing off each other as well. I mean, it, the, I think the interesting thing is it might have done, but I managed to keep yep. giving up my sort of initiative to keep the ghouls yep. on your wolves, which just sort of slowed it yeah, all it, down there. It stopped um, me from taking the flank, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, but it did mean that I kept having to give you the initiative. Over, over here. here. Yeah. Actually... It, do you know what? Actually, it, we say it didn't. It was inconsequential, but maybe it wasn't because it gave me the opportunity to. Because Take you were really advice. you yeah. at one point you was extremely strong over here, yeah. but you because you was worried about that coming around that 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 flank. You Definitely. gave me the opportunity to get on back in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good point. Good and we point. Had this big. We had this big sort of grand melee thing going on over here, which literally happened for about six turns, didn't it? It was yeah, by it? turn two we were grinding it, and it was just a yeah. meat feast. Uh, but I'd say your your archers here uh, really sort yeah. of showed their worth. They, got, they had their eye in. They were rolling them eights and nines and tens. Yeah, um, and they whittled through my line breaks. And you also didn't have anything to counter them. No. Because you know, nothing in your army could reach them or no. see them. Yeah, so they were, they were yeah, kind of protected a little bit, yeah. Uh, by contrast, my archers didn't really take part in the fight for about half the battle because they yeah. just kept refusing think, to fight. I think so. it was at three turns they didn't activate on yeah. a five as well. Like rolling yeah. fives, I mean, that's crazy. Uh, um, uh, the line breakers did their job in a way, they killed one unit, but. It, it probably due to the line breakers that it, the game's ended because now the threat's there and that's pretty much the only unit that's left. Yeah. Um, but 
yeah, absolutely brilliant game. Really enjoyed it. It's really nice to get back playing with the G Dog. So, Graham, thanks for me coming Cheers, over. Johnny. Yeah. Um, yeah, really, really, really fun game. Um, another great game with Hope Mark. Um, I definitely recommend it if you've not got involved in it yet. And uh, yeah, brilliant. That's it. Victory to the Orcs and Goblins. They uh, make up for their last defeat against the Dwarves with Scruffy Crow. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll get a rematch with him in the, ne in the near future. But uh, for now, Graham, thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you. You too. And guys, we'll catch you in the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.